Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, girl, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come on through the building, hit that bell. Yeah. You want to be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Um, also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, do not be afraid to go on over to DF Carol T at Cash App or PayPal, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. We're going to freestyle it, okay? I don't know, y'all. I don't know where we're going to end up. Like I done told y'all, okay? There's been a lot going on. Y'all been full of shocks and surprises lately, okay? So let's see what's going on, okay? All right. Let's see what's tea. Okay, we come out the gate with the moon. Um, you know, there is a feminine in this relationship that is curious. There is some curiosity. Her intuition is tickling her ivories. This feminine is either looking for what part of herself is going to show up in this relationship or she's looking to see if there is a secret in this relationship. Somebody is looking for what lies beneath. That's literally what I'm hearing. So it is what I'm going to say. Somebody is searching for the what lies beneath within this relationship, okay? Somebody is searching. Somebody is looking for what's beneath the surface. Um, somebody believes that there is something mysterious happening in this relationship, okay, in this connection. And it's, it really is there because this feminine intuition is all over this situation. So somebody is searching for something that is so, okay? There is something to know. There is something to see, either about yourself, your partner, or the situation, okay? Let's see. Um, so we step into the Ten of Cups. There is, and we step into the three of wands. So let me just break this down because this is very powerful. So what spirit just did for us is literally time travel us into the future. Okay. Um, there is something to see in this relationship, but what you should also understand is that this relationship does produce family. It will produce a family like vibe. I don't know if that, obviously we're going to keep reading, but we don't know if that family vibe is one that is centered on uh, new babies, just the connection between the two of you, the merging of two families. Um, I'm not sure, but there is definitely a familial element that comes in this relationship. And we are moving into the future to see what is what. We see the eight of swords, okay? In the future, y'all, we're going to go ahead and read what failed. We see the Eight of Swords, and right behind that, we see the Six of Pentacles. So we see that somebody is, is feeling blocked, is feeling trapped. As the future of this relationship comes into fruition, somebody feels blocked. Somebody feels trapped. Somebody feels put upon. Somebody is feeling like they're confined as this moves forward. They're confined as they attempt to get into the Six of Pentacles energy. Somebody wants to give something in this relationship and they're feeling confined, okay? They're feeling like they may not be able to give exactly what it is they want to give. And they want to give a transition. Somebody wants to transition, okay? This is going to be part of what's coming in this relationship. This is this is the ultimate future, but there are some things that are coming. You wanted to see what was inside, what is being hidden, what is to come. Here we are. Here it is, okay? Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles with the Six of Swords, okay? Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is looking to transition this into a long-term offering, okay? There's a long-term offering that wants to be brought to the table in this relationship. Somebody wants to do this, but for some reason, they're feeling confined. They're feeling trapped. They're saying, how can I make them this long-term offering? How can I make them this Ten of Pentacles offering, okay? They want to take it there. They want to get you on a Ten of Pentacles. Somebody sees you as being so cool, so suave, um, somebody that they respect, there's a respect factor that this masculine has for you. He sees you as really being a woman of control or power. There is an admiration that is fueling him to try to offer this 10 of pentacles. Okay. It comes from a place of admiration and we see the world card, um, coming right behind this. 
So this man wants to close the deal with you. This is a man that wants to close the deal. He's like, I've decided. Somebody has decided on you. This man has decided on you, okay? Um, as you look into, you're kind of trying to look into other realms, kind of astral project, see what's going on, figure out what's happening, look in the spiritual realm to see what's what. Here's something you definitely want to know and want to know for sure. This man is serious when he is thinking of giving you this Ten of Pentacles. This is not a joke, okay? He's very serious. Knight of Cups to the Three of Cups. This man wants to put you in Romeo energy. This man wants to be able to romance with you and y'all are vibing, celebrating together. This man desires the best out of this situation. He really does. Um, there is a hope for things to go well, for him to get an opportunity to be with you, for the two of you to be a team. Um, but there is something going on back there, y'all, with that Six of Swords. So we see the Emperor and we see the Four of Pentacles. This man is ready when they come to you. Um, this man, really, he's down to like, I whoop somebody ass about her. Um, that type of information, that type of tea. Baby, he's willing to go all out as it relates to you. Um... But this man, it's like he feels like he's fighting for his life or something. Like he feels like he's being held back by the throes of money. It's got something to do with money. It has something to do with money. This man did a lot of partying. Um, this man spent a lot of time around someone else. Who is this, y'all? Oh, yeah. Spirit rolling out the tea. But who is this? Uh-huh. Who is it? Uh-huh. Is it a friend? Of All right. Come on, Mike. Who is this? Girl, who you is? This man spent a lot of time, okay, around some other feminine, okay? There's something to be said. Remember, this is this what lies beneath. Karmic relationship, okay? Um, this man was previously in a karmic relationship. Somebody was selfish. She loved herself first and created a codependent bond with him. They had passion between the two of them. But for this reason, this man has trust issues. You're not realizing that, sis. This man has trust issues. Um, whatever was going on between y'all prior to this, this man felt like he got, you know, kind of... Somebody looked out for themselves, okay? He was with a karmic feminine. She looked out for herself. Um, had him in a codependent situation where he felt like he couldn't even get along without her. Okay, but when you really look at this for what it is, we are seeing passion. We are seeing it is safe for you to love. This man has a lot of issues with trust. Um, that kind of brings me back to this six of pentacles, six of swords situation up here. And this eight of swords, what may be blocking this man from kind of not really wanting to go the full route. It's like the ghost of this woman kind of hangs over him. This idea, this idea that... You know, he's kind of not quite sure how to open up and be loved. Um, he's kind of stuck. He's kind of glued to her, whatever that was that happened in the background. Um, pain. Y'all, pain has a hold of this man. Pain has a hold to this man. He's kind of in a situation. He is in a situation where there's issues of pain. Some kind of pain is not letting him go. There's some type of agony that is just holding on to this man for dear life. And we kind of just want to see what that is. This karmic relationship went on in the background, okay? That's holding on to his ass. Um, there was some type of loss this man dealt with, okay? There's also a baby that is holding on to him, baby. A letter, a message of some kind, and death. Y'all, and judge. Okay, listen here. Um... Something has just come to this man. We see letter, we see death, we see judge. Something has just come to this man. Some type of message has come to this man. This man is facing his own judgment, his own karma at this particular time. Um, there's also been some financial loss. There's also a baby. This baby is taking money from him. This man, this man may have a baby that he didn't necessarily want. Okay, from some type of partnership. And right behind this, y'all, right behind this baby, this baby kind of being brought to him, girl, this baby being brought to him. We see death and we see judge, okay? And we see misfortune. This man suffered a misfortune, honey. This man suffered a misfortune. Y'all y'all know we finna look and see what that is because y'all know how I do. Um, we finna figure out what happened here, y'all. 
I got questions. Okay. Um, first of all, this man lost money. Why did this man lose money? There was a loss of money. This man suffered a string of misfortunes. Okay. It wasn't just the one. It was a string of misfortunes. Listen, somebody's looking for what lies beneath and you are being given it. This man suffered a loss. Okay. We're seeing the six of swords present here. This man suffered a loss, y'all. He suffered a loss. Somebody walked off with some of his money. And with this, he was left feeling stupid. This man feels like he made some stupid ass decisions. Okay. Somebody just walked off into the next phase of their life and made a fool of him. It's kind of like the player got played. Okay. It's giving very much that kind of energy. The player got played. Three of swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck. This man is still trying to get out of the heartbreak and the embarrassment of the relationship that he was previously in. Okay. This karmic relationship, this karmic really made an ass out of him. Okay. Where did this baby come from? Who this? Who this? Who this is? There's a baby in here, y'all. Where, who, what's going on? Seven of Cups comes through in the reverse. With this Seven of Cups coming through in the reverse, this baby was manifested to him um, when he fell into his emotions. This man may have had this baby at a time in his life when he was at a low. This man was at a low. He didn't know what was next. He didn't know what he was going to do. He fell into the arms of someone that just seemed like a safe place to be. Not necessarily the love of his life, but a safe place to be. The relationship itself was dishonest. It was a lie, ace of swords. He may have just been using this woman for the affection that she was bringing to the table. That is where this baby comes into play. Okay, this baby comes into play just with, you know, grief. There's a certain grief, confusion. What do I do? He's lost in his feelings, the fool in the reverse. And he jumps into a situation with this woman. Okay, so if somebody you wondering, you know, well, he got this baby, this, this situation. This was kind of like during a time where his life was just in the shitter. He just ran to some open arms. Okay, and he ended up with a baby. However, with that seven of cups in reverse, the woman wanted the baby, okay? She wanted to manifest this child. Whether he wanted to or not, baby, she wanted to manifest this child. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it confused. Um, so we do see that for sure, okay? Now, we see this death. We see this judge. And we see misfortune. Spirit seeking clarity. Where is this coming from, this misfortune, okay? Talk to us about this death card, energy, spirit. This man had a lot of misfortune and shifts and change. Six of swords, energy hit his life at one time. Death card energy comes through, y'all. Death in the reverse. Something this man thought he was done with and through with. Something that he thought he had moved away from that was a bad habit. Came to revisit this man. This man fell back into bad habits, okay? He was weak. He was weak for this bad habit. Strength comes through in the reverse. This man was weak for this bad habit. He let it get back into his life. He let it get back into his space. And when this got back into his life, got back into his space, this man took what we would want to go ahead and call a tumble or a fall, if you will. Nine of Pentacles comes through in the reverse. Um, and this, this kind of tumble, fall, if you will, it really kind of put some woman, this baby mama is, <laughs> is a vibe that I'm getting, in a position where she was spending all her money on him in an injustice. This man created karmic debt for himself by taking, taking, taking from a woman when he was at his weakness. This man fell back into bad habits. Whatever this bad habit was, this bad habit started eating up his money. Whether or not it was something to do with sex, something to do with gambling, um, something to do with eating. Like this man just likes to eat, eat fast food, spend money on eating, drinking, um, some kind of extracurricular nonsense, okay? He was sitting around spending his money on, okay? And he lost money in that. Where does the judge show up in this? Spirit seeking clarity. We pull judge. Where is the judge energy coming from, okay? Because this man created a, a whole plethora of misfortune for himself. I'm just finna let you know. Um, this judge energy is coming towards this man. Eight of swords. This man put himself in a bad situation where judgment, church bells ringing, okay, as the judgment cards come through the building, what are the odds that we pull for answers about the judgment card energy and pull the judgment card, okay? 
This man found himself stuck and he had to wake up and face the truth. There are some things that this man needed to release. So this man's own bad habits, this man's own foolishness, this man's own inability to stick to righteousness in some way, shape or form has contributed to his downfall. So this falling back into gambling or falling back into hanging with the wrong crowd, falling back into throwing money away on fruitless things, whatever the case may be, these things decided for him his fate and he found himself fighting with himself okay we see this judge energy five of wands fighting with himself it wasn't getting him anywhere he was not winning the fight against his own flesh the chariot in the reverse this man was not winning the fight against his own flesh i'm just going to tell you straight like that six of pentacles comes through in the reverse um he wasn't winning that fight y'all this man was out here uh struggling shuffling scuffling okay trying to figure out what was next for himself the six of pentacles comes through in the reverse he was in a position in his life where he was taking more than he was giving. He wasn't compromising with anybody, okay? And he was really in a position where he was just trying to get the heartbreak off of himself. So during this period of time, the heartbreak that he was going, going through that drove him to this woman, okay, that he ended up having this baby with out of grief, out of sadness, out of sorrow. This grief and sadness and sorrow also encouraged him, okay, to this demonic influence, let's call it what it is, encouraged him to pick up. OK, encouraged him to pick up and continue on with some bad habits, with some things he had no business. Um, he did go ahead and do that. OK, he fell into those bad habits and habits. And in the long run, we see him now ending up. He's blocked. He's stuck. And he had to wake up to the truth. He wasn't able to shake these bad habits. He wasn't able to fight his own flesh. He wasn't able to get out of that pain. OK, so there was a lot of ego that was going on with him that he was hiding from people, the sun and the moon, a lot of back and forth and ego and not being real. And one day he's this one day he's that. So there was a lot of confusion. Page of cups with the nine of swords with the ten of cups. There was a lot of confusion in this man's life at one point in time as it related to love. It was causing him anxiety. It was causing him stress. That had to do with family. And then when he attempted to move forward, y'all, this man fell on his face, king of wands in reverse. So this man fell into karmic judgment because of, he basically, because of the fallout of one relationship, he kind of fell into the arms of another woman and just created a whole mess, um, allowing this woman to pay his way out of things. She was trying to be in a relationship. He was not trying to be in a relationship. He was trying to fix his problems okay that that's about it that's about all and he's created a problem for himself and this misfortune what is the nature of this misfortune okay what is the nature of this man's misfortune because this karmic relationship that he was in is something that he was stuck holding on to okay we saw back there with the emperor and the four of pentacles the nature of this misfortune y'all two of cups in reverse is that he ended up in a union with someone he didn't want to be in a union with. This man ended up kind of stuck to, tied to a woman that he didn't want to be stuck to, tied to. So this baby that he has, he did not want. Um, he may feel indebted to this woman for the money that she put into him, but he does not want to be with her. This man found himself stuck legally, because you know he got this baby with her, to somebody that he actually does not want, okay? Somebody that he does not really want. I'm getting a vibe that he may be playing nice with her so that he doesn't have to end up on child support or so that he doesn't have to live with her. This is somebody that he's almost humoring just to keep his life at ease. Um, hmm. Negative situation, y'all. This man has a negative situation plan in the background. Six of Wands that he is not talking to you about, okay? In order for him to win in this situation, <laughs> Six of Wands with the Tower. This man, in order to win in this situation, we see the Six of Wands with the Tower and the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's like he had to kind of blow shit up, okay? And tear up one relationship to kind of keep himself out of a jam with the other. So this man, this is a mess, y'all. Now I'm telling y'all, somebody out there wanted to know what was lying beneath, girl. And what you see is this some shit, okay? Okay, this is a man that you have a Ten of Cups relationship with. He wants to offer you a Ten of Pentacles. This man wants to go the full fucking gabbit, gamut <laughs> with you, girl. Gabbit, gamut, whoever she is, girl, with you. And we're looking at why he cannot. And, and it's just because, girl, this man got it's, it's a whole mess involving this. There's a woman here that he don't want. That karmic relationship that he was in, it seems like that kind of came and went. Some lady played him out, used him up, whatever. 
and he might have been going through a period of heartbreak, okay? During that period of heartbreak, this man went out here and got himself involved with somebody and made a whole mess of his life, okay? He made a mess of his life, y'all. And that's the mess that he's in that's kind of keeping him from being able to just jump into a Ten of Swords. This agony, I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles with you. This agony, I told y'all, we saw back here on this Four of Pentacles, he kind of had an agony holding on to him, hanging on to him. Girl, the agony holding on to him, hanging on to him, is this situation that he created potentially with a fire sign woman, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, that, yo, he actually wants to walk the fuck out on her. This man is appeasing a baby mama in the background. He don't want her. He don't want her. God, he don't want her, okay? I'm just getting the energy. It's like he like, uh he doing whatever he got to do to kind of make this thing go smoothly. So he's kind of, what is he kind of doing? Spirit seeking clarity. What exactly is he doing as it relates to this baby mama? Somebody that really, she wanted him and wanted to believe in a the future. There, there was never a future there. This man was like, see, that's what he get for using people. That's what he get for using somebody. Okay. Uh, eight of cups with the seven of pentacles. He planted a seed in this woman, y'all, literally and figuratively, okay? And now he's stuck, okay? This woman is, is she wants to be there. Um, he wants to cut ties with her, but he can't. He got to take action. He got to be present. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Y'all, whoever this baby mama is, y'all need to know he has no desire whatsoever to be in anything serious with her. It has never even crossed his mind, okay? This man feels like being involved with this woman has crippled him and has left him imbalanced and unable to pursue the things he really wants to pursue, okay? And he really would like for this to come to completion so he didn't have to take action in it anymore. But we all know that's not true, okay? That's another at least 18 years. 18 years, okay? At least that he's going to have to be involved in this circumstance with this woman, somebody has created a tie between him and her. She wanted to be a part of his life, this other woman. We saw it with the Seven of Cups and she manifested that. He had no interest in this. She manifested that. It's a nightmare for him. It's a dream for her. Somebody was trying to stay in his life and now he's stuck with her and he's humoring her. Um, basically just to keep himself off the hook legally, okay? Tell me a little more about this situation he has with this baby mama. This man is very upset. She wants a Ten of Pentacles and attempted to take a Ten of Pentacles from him. This man actually wants to be in a Ten of Pentacles with you, okay? He wants to offer you a legacy. He cannot right now for sure offer you a legacy. He is going to, if not already has, if y'all are not already in, a Ten of Cups, Okay? So that's kind of the beginnings of a family, the growings of a family, the seeds. But he doesn't want to offer you seeds. This man will come in and ask to marry you. Like, look, let's just get married. I don't care. Courthouse, wedding, whatever you want to do. I just want to make sure I'm with you forever. The only reason he's not doing that now is because of this mess. Okay? It's because of this mess here. This man is very much on the lamb, on the, he's on the fence. Okay, about running away with you. That is his wish. This man wants to run away with you. Instead of being stuck, kind of stuck glued to whatever is going on with sis over there, okay? Um, he really wants to run off. He feels like shit um, having to kind of humor this woman. He's not with this woman, but he does have to make her feel like there's still potential there. That's how he feels. Or else he's going to play games with his money. So this man feels like he is stuck, okay? Hang man energy. Stuck in a rock, between a rock and a higher place. And like this woman, as we saw on the previous Four of Pentacles card that we've been investigating just now, um, he feels like this woman has him, you know, stuck. He really feels like, man, you know, I can't even do what I want to do. I can't even be the me that I want to be, okay? This man wants to live in the moment. He wants to run off with you. He's fed up and he really is ready to ghost this baby mama, okay? And straight up do some thug shit, okay? But he cannot. Um, this man is in a position where he does have to play nice with this lady and he's not happy about it. He is not happy about it. Um, getting back to our central... Uh, our central reading, y'all, okay? Because we, we've done some background work. 
This man is very disappointed, okay? He's very disappointed coming off that four of pentacles energy that we had underneath here. This lady is kind of, he feels like he coming off of one, you know, fucked up situation to now he got this other woman that's kind of dangling him, keeping him in pain and anguish. He pissed off about that because she didn't have this baby and created all this confusion. This man is upset, okay? He feels like there's nothing he can do. He feels somewhat defeated by this situation and he's trying to fight for a way to just do... This man is like, he's he's really debating with himself about you. It's like, he wants to just, I'm going to say it again, because it, it comes back to this when we see the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is thugged out, baby. Knight of Swords is, 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 will, will pop up, get up and whoop that ass. This man really wants to get in some thug energy when it comes to you, okay? I can't say it enough. This man really wants to get in thug energy when it comes to you. I can't say I just say it twice, okay? This man wants to just jump up and be like, Fuck all y'all hoes, okay? Fuck your click and the bitch you click. Bad boy. Like, he, he really want to go park with it and just be like, I'm on some Bonnie and Clyde. I'm on some Romeo and Juliet. I'm just going to jump up and grab her, jump in this Ten of Pentacles. I don't care who don't like it. This is something that this man keeps thinking about. Like, man, I ought to just, I ought to just cuff her up, go hard, you know, thought a rang on her. You know what I'm saying? This is what he wants to do. Like, he really wants to take it in that direction, but he's it's a fear okay it's a fear you know what i'm saying he want to go ahead and put the ring down you know put the thing down it is not as simple as it sounds in his mind he's still thinking of how will all the pieces and the parts be affected okay um okay we see the magician what did i just tell you girl he wants to take action he wants to take action girl like, that's his primary thing. It's like, I want to take, I just want to get out right now. Boom, bang, pow, 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 pow. He ready to just jump up and ride out, okay? I'm going to say it again. Thug energy, baby. Well, let's get to the bottom of this deck because the bottom of this deck is talking shit. He wants to do some thug shit and jump in tower energy. Y'all see it? Shocking news. Baby, this man will relocate with you, okay? He don't care who he bump heads with because he got feelings, okay? He got a hull of feelings. He don't care who hard is broken, He'll fake busy, do whatever he have to do, be an asshole to whatever, whoever. Baby, this man ready to go out and jump into some wild shit with you. This man ready to party with you. Like, let's get loose. Let's be out here getting drunk. Let's be out here fucking around, celebrating, getting, doing whatever, being with whoever, getting married, okay? Period. That's what he's on. That's what he wants to do. Thank you, spirit. But see, he ain't really able to do that. Okay, he feels like he's trying to play things smart. He's trying to do things the smart way. But this man really want to get in the wind with you. Okay, he doesn't care about, he's contemplating this constantly. Nine of Wands energy is like, he's trying to do this in a smart way. He's trying to not cut off his nose despite his face. That's the only reason you haven't been offered the Ten of Pentacles already. Period. That's the only reason you ain't got the ring already, girl. Okay, it's because he's kind of like contemplating, okay, how do I win? How do I do this to make sure it's a win? You know, how do I not kill all my opportunities? How do I not create a situation where there's a loss? He's trying to make sure he stays perfectly suited, you know, doing him in a six of wands energy. Okay, we see this four of swords. This man is trying to make sure he's not putting the final nail in his own damn coffin by running out here, jumping in this joyous pleasurable situation with you which by the way be clear be serious okay we're gonna cup the deck see what we see that's what he wants to do baby okay that's what he wants to do all the time you've been happily single okay you haven't been upset about being single but understand something okay you're not, you're comfortable being single because you like you ain't never finna be nobody's thing on the side this man understands that okay Twin flame energy. This man understands what y'all, what you want and what you will do. If you don't get what you want, he knows you will walk out. He knows you will say goodbye. For this reason, this man is willing to say goodbye, wants to say goodbye to the situation that he feels is just hindering him from doing what he really wants to do. Twin flame energy again. So this man is really conflicted and really going through some things. He has massive regrets at this time in his life about how shit played out. Okay, about how he played his own hand. You may receive a message from him about this in person or even an actual text message at some point expressing to you and saying to you, hey, you know, I kind of got some shit going on. And I don't I don't like that it's this way because you're who I want. Okay, 
you're who I want. This man is going to try to figure out how he can do anything he has to do to get you. So we see side hustle coming up again. If this man has to do a little extra to get you, child, will he? Let's see what energy we get in. Okay? Closing the cycle. What cycle this man is going to try to close, y'all? Going round and around and around with who, y'all? Okay? We, we just, we're doing totally intuitively now. This man, we see this goodbye again. This man's going to try to walk out on this baby mama. He's going to try to figure out what work he has to put in to walk out on that situation because that's the one he wants to say goodbye to because he misses you, okay? This man wants to be in a situation with you. He wants what y'all doing to be a love situation, baby. This man is trying to think of anything he has to do. He may even consult with somebody spiritually, Okay, um, it may be somebody of spiritual counsel. It could be any kind of counsel. It could be a pastor. It could be a relative that's in ministry. It could be a witch, honey. Somebody he's going to go to for spiritual counsel. Okay, because this man is ready to do something different. He just doesn't know how to do it. So what you don't know, while you was looking, trying to figure out what was going on, what you don't know is that this man is in the background trying to figure out how he can kind of weasel his way out of this, that, and the third in order to make you the ultimate offering. Um, that is his goal. That is his plan, okay? Somebody does not know that. You probably think you're not high up on his totem pole. Get your life. You're actually very high up on this man's totem pole. Um, he just doesn't know how to get out of the jam that he's currently in, okay? That's a big part of what's going on. And I'm telling y'all, this man is sitting back doing the math on this regularly, okay? Period. This man is sitting back trying to figure this out. I told y'all he's going to consult with somebody. This man is trying to figure out how he can get you, okay, to himself. He ain't playing no games, okay? This man is sitting back. He's sipping. He's stressing coke trying to figure out. He's trying to figure out. Y'all, this man is a bit of, he's like a schemey type of guy. Okay, that's just how he thinks. He's schemish, okay? He's a schemish-ass bastard. This man's trying to figure out what scheme he can run a pool to get you where he wants you, girl. This man is like, I got to have a, okay? He's like, how can I get rid of some of this dead weight to get the woman I really want to get to, okay? Period. Enlighten truths, okay? This is the truth. Write it down. Be real about it, baby. This is the truth. This is the truth of this situation. This is what's really going on. Somebody, you've been wondering, like, what's tea? What's really going on? This is the real deal. Um, any silences that you may have been getting from this man are like, y'all are fully on y'all way. And then all of a sudden it's kind of like, eh, he's radio silent for a minute, whatever the case may be. It really has the most to do with the fact that this man is just trying to figure out how he can get this the way he wants it. Um, again, remember, I, you know, it's a funny thing to say, but this man has the energy of a scammer. He really does. I, I mean, that's a funny thing to say, but he has a scammer's energy and he's, he brings that into his love relationships. So this man, think of it in that terms, like he's kind of scamish and he's trying to figure out how he can scam his way towards a win with you, okay? He's like, I want to offer her a 10 of pentacles. How can I get these other bitches off my truck? I swear to you, that's the energy that I'm getting, okay? He's like, I don't want them. This one relationship is already dead and over with. This other relationship is just, it's a mess. I didn't even mean for this to happen. What can I do to clear my plate to get the woman I really want, okay? He's in he's in that type of energy. These other women mean nothing to him, um, period. Tender attentions, okay, with care and concern, okay? This man has serious care and concern when it comes to you, okay? Moonlit unity. Remember, we started this with a secret, okay? You want to know the secret? The secret is you, sis, okay? If you're what's on this man's mind. You're who he wants. You're who he's trying to get to. He's just trying to map his way towards you. Pause. Moonlit unity. If you accept this man's secrets, if you accept the fact that he has these other situations, if you come into knowing and he really lets you know, which we see that he made with that love message card, if he really lets you know who's who and what's what in his life, if you accept his secrets, y'all's bond will go on and on, baby. Y'all will have what I just tell y'all, resilient roots, okay? Y'all will have resilient roots. Y'all will see things really go to the next level for y'all. If you wouldn't have just gone ahead and accepted, this man is messy, okay? Um, messy, but you the one. Future's embraced. This man wants you in the future. We saw that three of wands. You're who he wants, okay? You're the one, okay? But it's just like, how, how am I going to do this, okay? This man has blocks, okay? He has blocks. He has reversals if you will, in his life right now, that he needs to figure out 
How am I going to get around this? Okay, dismantling hidden, hidden barriers. That's the issue that is being had with this man right now. If you want to call that an issue, okay? That's the issue at this time. Um, and this man welcomes a new day with you. He welcomes a new day with you, a new time, a new dawn, a new beginning. That is what he wants. That is what he welcomes, okay? Don't get it twisted. Don't get it confused. You are the one that he wants. Girl. You got to figure out how to get there. Okay. That's his primary thing at this point. And this man is trying to make sure that he doesn't submarine himself in other ways like he end up on child support. That just keeps coming to me by jumping into the situation with you. But that's what he wants to do. Ace of Wands energy. You turn this man on. You excite him. You make him feel alive. You make him feel happy. And he wants to be with you. He wants to be where his happiness is. He wants to be where his joy is. He wants to be where he feels like a man. But it's difficult to do this when he has these other moving pieces, okay? And this misfortune that, as you can see, he really brought about himself. When he involved this other woman into the situation, he brought that on himself. That is the point in the story where shit just got stupid. I'm just going to tell you the truth. That is the point in the story where shit just got stupid, okay? King of Swords energy... Okay, this man just, you know, listen, he wanted a new beginning with you. He's trying to think his way towards it. But to be completely honest, he playing Russian roulette with his situation a little too much. And that's how he got into this mess. This man was so busy trying to meet his immediate needs. That's a problem that this man keeps having. He keeps trying to focus on meeting his immediate needs as opposed to doing what it is he really is supposed to do at a particular time, y'all. Straight like that. Um... That keeps being his problem and that keeps being his focus. It's like, what can I do right now? And it, it just keeps biting his stupid ass in the ass, okay? It's biting his stupid ass in the ass. Do you hear me? Um, okay, just this common issue. I want to look and see, first of all, what his situation is, what the love energy is around him and this baby mama. Because he does not, he's not interested. He's trying to figure out how to get the hell away from her. It's like when you meet a girl. This is the energy, y'all. When somebody meet a girl at a party and they ain't feeling her, but she's feeling them every time he turn around at the party, she's there. Like, that's where he's at with her, okay? Um, so we just want to see what the energy is. You know, who's feeling what, who's feeling who. What's the hidden energy here? What might you need to know about this baby mama situation, okay? Girl, we see now she's looking for an engagement. Okay, we see that much jumping right out. Girl, they be thirsty, don't they? Now remember, she's kind of been riding, inserting herself into this situation the whole time, okay? This has kind of been a situation where it's always been her that's been trying to be a part of the equation. Um, more than it's been him, okay? So we're going to see what we see. Finances, okay? Obviously, this is about money. Um, for him, she's hoping to get an engagement out of this. She's hoping to hit pay dirt, okay? Engagement, great fortune, okay? She's hoping that he will do for her and, and be in love with her and all these different things. Um, be advised, this man may buy little things here and there. Um, it's food, though. He's buying food. He's doing stuff for the, for the family. His kid is there. He's buying food and things like that. This relationship is on the distant horizon, so it's not close. This is what she wants. Um, this is very far away. This, there's not, this isn't something that... The odds of this happening are just slim as fuck, okay? And she needs to know that. Um, but she, she really wants this to work. She wants this man to really take her on, okay? And be her knight in shining armor, okay? Um, this is what she wants, okay? This is where she's at. Let's clarify this pathway, Spirit clarify because we see crossroads energy there for her. Material attachment. So the most she's going to get on him is money. This is the crossroads for him. It's like how can he kind of balance this situation out with her? It's like what can I do with her um, to make this kind of look away, like look halfway decent? And it's money. He's going to spread money over there. He's going to buy groceries. He's going to buy shit like that. That's it. That's it. Um, he's a father that's involved with his child. And he's kind of humoring this baby mama. Um, 
by just letting her think whatever she wants to. Um, what is the energy that is present around his relationship with you? Okay, that's my next question because, baby, she's trying, she's trying everything she can. But keep in mind that we pulled for her that seven of cups, which kind of gives you fairy tale energy, okay? Fairy tale energy. Divine timing, rendezvous, orphan, okay? We have to clarify that orphan energy. Somebody in this situation doesn't feel like they have family, okay? Um, whatever meeting and link up and reconnection y'all had, it was divine timing. It was supposed to happen that way. Somebody has been praying for a family. Somebody has been praying for a family. Not only that, what you don't know if it's you, like somebody may be an only child or they don't have a lot of family, or maybe it's just you and your children. You don't know where you're going to turn. Somebody else has also been praying for you to find the Ten of Cups as well. It has not just been you that wants to find a family. Somebody else wants you to find a family too so that you can be happy. You can have someone. Okay. As time shift and change in your life. Okay. New love. Retreat. High priest and priestess. There's a lot of uh, divine energy. But I want y'all to also pay attention to this high priest and priestess. Again, we see the secret energy. Retreat into secrets. If you accept this man's secrets, you know, you will enter a ten of cups. We just keep getting that psychic connection on the bottom of the deck. Okay. We just keep getting that energy. Mm, soulmate on the bottom of the deck. Um, we keep getting, girl, forever young, okay? There's a lot of passion between y'all. We keep getting this it, it, marriage on the bottom of the deck, okay? Uh, 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 wedding on the bottom of the deck, flirt on the bottom of the deck, main female on the bottom of the deck, mother on the bottom of the deck, spirituality and religion. Girl, listen, girl, make the effort, honeymoon, stay optimistic, okay? Now, listen, understand, though, at the bottom of the deck, toil and labor. There's a lot of work that will go into this relationship in order for it to be, um brought to completion there's a lot of energy surrounding it in order for y'all to move forward um energy we didn't even see coming because all of this is just you know bottom of the deck okay i just pulled that one intuitively but you would have to accept this man's secrets okay the secrets that we are going across the board with now okay these are things that this man has not yet divulged to you but he will okay if you accept these secrets from this man, you will arrive in a Ten of Cups with him, okay? There's no way about uh, around it. Um, but understand that these secrets and these issues are all this man's fault. Um, you know, finding himself tangled up with this woman and everything like that. These are the girl, there's potentially a baby coming, okay, from you in this relationship. Anybody looking for a baby girl, he got one. But listen... This man created this environment for himself. He really did. Um, bad decision making, okay? This is why he around there drinking and struggling to cope now. A lot of bad decision making, okay? A lot of bad decision making. When he met that other woman, she was happily single. He really came in and kind of talked her into letting him be a part of her life. He created a firestorm in the life of that baby mama, y'all. He really did. And in turn, he created a firestorm for himself. He created a tower moment going both ways. Um, he really believed that he was going to be able to get in that and get out of it, okay? Somebody that he was using for comfort, okay? She was looking for an actual family. Um, he wasn't looking for that, not from her, okay? She wanted the Ten of Pentacles from him. Um, and she stuck, you know, she had this baby and is now kind of, we saw it with that Seven of Cups, hopeful that this Ten of Pentacles is around the corner for her. Um, it is not. Um, okay, but we see here this man has kind of created a wild shift and, and switch of fortune for himself. So we see this Wheel of Fortune energy, y'all. Okay, we back over here. Uh, and our Ten of Wands comes through with our Eight of Pentacles, okay? Again, we see these love blocks that we've already seen, okay? We've seen these love blocks come through, and we see that there's some obstacles. This man is truly aiming at making you the center of his life, Knight of Wands. Understand that even in the midst of all this nonsense, you are this man's primary goal. Spirit seeking clarity. What is the turn? Okay, we saw that six of swords back there. Okay, what is the turn? What direction does this actually take? This man wants to run off with this woman and give her a ten of pentacles. He doesn't quite see how he can, but he desperately wants to. Y'all remember that thug energy we got back there? 
Um, please reveal, please reveal on the board, okay? From this moon energy, please reveal what does this man actually decide to do, okay? Million dollar question. What does this man decide to do, y'all? What direction does he actually take? Um, we come through with the high priestess. Once again, we're seeing that there are some things that are secret that are not disclosed. Eight of Wands, and they will be disclosed to you. High Priestess with the Eight of Wands, he is going to communicate these secrets, these challenges, these things that you do not know, you will know, okay? King of Wands, he will say them to you with pride just before he rides off into the sunset based on love. Page of Cups, Three of Swords, the lovers, okay? Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. This man is going to do the race for you, okay? He's going to... uh He's going to take it, y'all. He's going to take whatever else because we're seeing him here. He does communicate to you what's what, but this man also professes and proclaims to you his love. There will be heartbroken lovers as a result of the offering that this man makes to you to plant a seed in your life. This man is about to shatter hearts as a result of his pledge to be with you. He is not going to wait around, okay? He just isn't. This man cares about whether or not you're available. This is about divine timing. This man feels like, hey, she showed up. She's in my life. I'm going to go ahead and do what I do. I'm not going to sit back and wait. I'm not waiting for anybody, for any reason. He's not going to do that. This man's going to do what he's supposed to do right now, okay? This man feels that he's been in despair prior to you being in his life. He's intimidated by you on some level. But if you will stand by him, I told y'all, will you stand by me? If you will stand by him in his secrets, after learning his secrets, okay, after understanding that who he is, what he is, and what's going on, okay, this man is going to pledge to be with you, okay? He will go from, I can't be with you right now, because that's where he's at, okay? Is looking around saying, oh, I can't offer her no Ten of Pentacles right now. If you will accept his secrets, if you will accept the fact that he done made this fucking mess, if you will accept this, this man will literally belong to you. You will be it for him, okay? They will be like, look, I found my woman. I don't care. I love her, okay? If you basically get in ride or die mode with this man, this man will be in ride or die mode with you, um, Okay? That's where we at. If you get in, in, in this mode with him, he will get in this mode with you. Um, and he will not think twice about giving for you, giving to you, doing what he needs to do for you. Because this man is willing. I want y'all to pay attention to that. This man is willing to throw it all on the board just to get you. He feels like, hey, I got her attention right now. Fuck that. I'm, I'm finna take her, okay? Hold me in your arms. This man loves to hold you. He likes being held by you. And he's been waiting for the right time. He feels this is the right time. And with him feeling that this is the right time, this man is gonna do his thing. He's gonna take the take the take the moment, okay? He's gonna take the moment. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He wants to make sure he doesn't end up in a place where a place where you're saying I don't love you. Okay, y'all have this twin flame energy. He believes you were created for him, and he believes he can fly right now, baby. This man believes that anything is possible. Okay, he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and take the take the uh, take the chance. Okay, standoffish. Okay, forced. This man's gonna do whatever he has to do. If you've been standoffish, he's gonna try to get back in, baby. If he gotta talk his way back in, force his way back in. He's like, whatever it is, low key, this man feels like you may deserve better than him because he know he, you know, it's like, I'm coming in here with all this baggage, but he's still not finna leave. He's confused, but he's still not finna leave. Okay. This man is hoping that you'll be smooth. Take it easy. Be with him. Okay. Period. This man is very adamant about that. Okay. Wanting to understand, wanting you to understand that he feel like he the one. I mean, like, you know, I'm the one for you. Okay, that's his energy. That energy is not going to change. Okay. You can rest assured in that you are who he wants the Ten of Pentacles with. And he's willing to hurt everybody's feelings. Because there are going to be some hurt feelings when he make a choice. There's a lot of women I'm getting a vibe. There are some women that thought they were potentially in something with him. And he's going to be like, yeah, I wasn't in nothing with you, sis. You, you tripping. Um... Okay, 
So that's where he's at. He's going to do what he has to do to make you the one. We see the Eight of Cups, okay? Clarifying the Eight of Cups spirit. This man's going to do what he has to do um, to get, you know, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, baby. This, is, this man is trying to walk into a Two of Cups with you. He don't care about who said what, who shot John. Yes, I took it all the way back to who shot John. This man does not care about any of that. What he cares about is like, you know, am I with her? You know, are me and her vibing? That's all he cares about. Okay, it is what it is. It is what it is, y'all. I'm going to say it again. Say it again. Okay. This man is coming to you. Two of Cups. We see this orphan energy again. You may be someone who thought you were going to be alone. Okay. You may have thought you would end up grieving in life. But understand this man is here and he really believes he can bring you fulfillment. He's going to offer you commitment. Okay. There's a tower energy and an ace of swords. Clarifying for us. What's, what, what's to this? What's this tower, y'all? Hold on. Where's this tower energy coming from? Okay. There is tower energy coming to this relationship, okay? Where, where is that? The star, okay? The star, clarifying the star energy. Mm -mm. Five of Pentacles, y'all. We got to clarify this Five of Pentacles, okay? The Hermit in reverse, the Three of Cups, Seven of Wands in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. <coughs> Y'all, this tower energy <coughs> that's coming to this relationship. There's a point in this situation where this man just takes whatever hope he has, y'all, and he walks out. He just walks out to be with you, period. Five of Pentacles with the Hermit in reverse. This man just walks out to be with you. He's looking to celebrate, letting his guard down, tucking his tail and everything. This man's going to completely humble himself to be with you. He does not care what nobody say. He, this is what he wants to do. And it's going to be very gangster the way it's done. I'm telling you that now. King of Wands is coming through in the reverse, okay, with the Empress in the reverse. With the King of Swords in the upright. This man is going to do this by thinking, okay? He's not going to care about, you know, all this, like, how he looks to this person or that person. He's not going to care. He's also not going to manifest this with any level of promiscuity. He's going to come at you for real, like, using his head, okay? Making an offering. The offering may be a little smaller than he wants it to be right now. Because, remember, he got some shit that's draining his financial resources at the moment. Um, but he will make a substantial offering because he's serious about this, okay? He doesn't want to miss this chance to be with you. That's his thought. He keeps thinking like, I just want to run away with her. Miss Chance, wild at heart. That's his bottom line. I just want to be able to want, run away with her. Dawn of recovery, okay? He wants to get into a new space, start his life over with you so that he can recover from the foolish mistakes he's made in the past, okay? He wants to heal. Healing mirage, okay? He wants to see if he can heal. Heal through whatever lies, illusions, different things he's been through. And he does not want to miss this moment. That is his biggest fear is like, I don't want to sit back and let her get away. I don't want to sit back and let this opportunity fade. He's very concerned about that. That if he doesn't jump on it now, girl, listen, you're going to be gone and moved on. However, remember that it starts off with your intuition and you wanting to know what lies beneath. Having knowing, knowing now what lies beneath, it is imperative that, I mean, if that's if you care if this works or not, you will have to accept, okay, that this, this is what it is. That there's no other way around it. You will have to be okay with the fact once this man comes to you, sits you down and tells you, hey, this is where we at. This is what's going on. You will have to be like, okay, cool. Um, you know, period. You will have to be in that space. This is what it is. This is what's going on. Um, but I'm cool with that. I support that. If you were to move forward with this relationship, y'all know. Y'all know I'd be nosy through and through with it. If you were to move forward and support this relationship... Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This man comes into this relationship. You know, he's a little injured, child. He got this baggage. We ain't finna tell them kinds of lies. This man has a lot of baggage. However, we see the Seven of Swords. We see this Nine of Pentacles energy. Listen, you will still get a lot of reward. Yo, low key, this man comes into this relationship. It's a little sleazy how he coming in. Like, 
staggering out of this baby mama shit. But listen, you would be on a pedestal. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords with the Two of Cups. It would be you, no, that period. It would just be you. Like, it would be no contest, no competition. It would just be you. You would be the center of this man's attention, the center of this man's life. There would be no one that could compete with you or tell him shit about you, okay? He's on that type of time, okay? Um, Page of Wands comes through in the reverse. Growth. Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Empress in the reverse. As far as this baby mama situation goes... It's just misadventure. Um, the misadventure would kind of he would he would kind of lose y'all. This man would lose that relationship, even with the child. We see the empress in the reverse. This man would ultimately. I don't think it would happen overnight. But this lady ain't gonna tolerate knowingly being. See, we see these two threes reverse. The empress and the three of pentacles. That lady is not gonna tolerate being in a third party situation. But what she doesn't know, this is why the threes are reversed. It is in a third party situation. She was never a part of it anyway. She was never really a part of that equation. Okay. Um, mm, temperance. Clarity. That would become clear to her as he and you continue to move forward. It would become quite clear to her that she's just a non-fucking factor and kind of always was. Um, and she would start at that point kind of trying to do him various disservices for not getting in the two of cups with her. So at this point, I'm telling you three of cups, two of cups in reverse, y'all. She mad about that. The tower in reverse and the 10 of wands in the reverse. Um, I'm telling you once she kind of catches on to the fact that she was never really a contender. He was basically just being nice to her. Um, because of, you know, let her think whatever. I just want to be able to see my son type of vibe. Um, three of cups, two of cups is coming through in the reverse. So is the tower coming through in the reverse. Ten of wands coming through in the reverse. Um, this lady going to try to start rebuilding with him. Like she's going to be like, isn't there, isn't there some kind of way we can start over? Like, come on, you don't mean this. I mean, because we see she she wants to rebuild. She wants to kind of make the way straight. Ten of Wands comes through in the reverse. You know, let's go out for drinks and talk. I mean, surely you, you're not serious. You don't want to marry this woman, do you? Nine of Swords in reverse. This is to try, this is to, try to ease her heartache. She's going to go into deep heartache when this happens. Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. And then right behind that, we see the sun in reverse. He is not offering her a Ten of Cups. His energy is not in this. It just never has been. The sun is reversed next to this Ten of Cups. This is still her hoping to get this offering. It's not coming. And the reason I'm looking deeper into this is because, girl, this, this, this is the type of shit here that you have a baby mama from hell on the other end. Because she mad. Because she thought the shit was going to be something it wasn't ever going to be. Okay. Page of Swords in the upright. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Hanged man. Girl, he's never going to be with her. And she's going to end up in her feelings and trying to fight about it. This lady is going to be um, an irritant. Just to make a long story very short. Um, she's showing up as an irritant. Um, she knows that her, her little pussy magic they didn't do shit. Okay, magic is in the reverse. But that little pussy... Didn't hold on to nobody, okay? Now, that's just what it is. Now, I ain't trying to talk about her privates, but it, they didn't do what she thought they was going to do. She stopped singing that. Because y'all don't want nobody else. She can stop singing that. But me and no me, girl, it failed you. You didn't turn him out, girl. It failed you, girl. That's just what happened. But, you know, she's still going to be offering him that little tired piece of tail, you know, hoping that it works, hoping that he will come back. Ritual with Eight of Cups in reverse. And we see here the King of Cups with the King of Cups in reverse. <laughs> King of Cups with King of Cups in reverse, okay? This doesn't make it any clearer. He's going to continue to just kind of manipulate and humor her if he will, if she will let him just to kind of keep things cordial for the sake of the child um, that I think is a, is a, it might be a girl, but I'm getting the vibe that it's a boy. That's all she's ever going to get from him. And he's going to move on with his life. Um, he wants to be with you and that's, Really all he cares about, okay? And and he's not happy that he even got to do that much. Three of Cups. 
Three of Cups in the reverse. Um. Anyway, remove moving forward, moving forward, uh, looking deeper into his relationship as it relates to you, girl. Girl. <laughs> so you know, um, know that this man would. I mean, it it, it come it's, it's, it starts off a little sleazy. I ain't here to lie to you, but know that this man really would. Y'all see that higher fin just jumped out and met us like nobody business. Listen, this man will be to you and be committed to you for real. I mean, the commitment is there, okay? This man will juggle the whole world on his back, okay? As long as he can manifest the situation and be the emperor to you. Baby, y'all are coming out as a match and you came out first. The empress and the emperor, okay? And you came out first, okay? So this is something that you could be the head of. This is something that you could hold great significance in. Um, this man literally, he'll play with the whole world, baby, to keep you on, keep you in the scene. He don't care. This man is committed to whatever he got to do, whoever he got to play with, whoever he got to, he's going to do whatever he got to do to keep you as his empress and him be the emperor in your life. That is something that is not going to change. Okay. It just isn't. That is something that is not going to shift. It is not going to change. Okay. Um, period. This man's going to try to keep you with him. Eight of Swords, no matter what. Um, once you in, you in. It's almost giving secret society um, energy. Why is that? Okay, it's almost giving secret society energy. It's like you take an oath. Once you know this man's secrets, he, he it's like you and me. We together, ride or die. Why is this giving secret society energy? Okay, hold on. Where that come? Where that come in at? The magician, baby. Where is that coming from? This man does a lot of... Uh, what's the energy? This man does a lot of uh, sleight of hand. He play with people a lot. Okay? He kind of doesn't let people see his true face. Um, if you see his true face, you in forever. And that's what he's about to do. He's about to come to you and tell you who he really is and how he really plays his hand. Seven of Wands. Okay? This man's going to let you know, you know, who's really who. You're kind of going to find out who he really is, how he really moves around. This man is a player. Uh, I don't want to say he's manipulative. And I don't just mean with women. I mean, period. You know, he may know how to kind of like sweet talk his boss to get a raise. You know, he has a way that he plays the world. Smooth operator is what comes to me. Once he starts talking to you and kind of letting you see that that's a part of his character, for him, it's very much like being in a secret society. You're in, you know, the real me. If you hear me tell someone this or that so that we can get, you know, free wine for the night or whatever, you know I'm bullshitting, okay? This is the way he lives his life, Knight of Wands. This man is smooth. He's kind of fast, okay? Tell me more about this secret society energy that's over this man, okay? It's, it's a part of... Four of Wands. For him, a marriage is, is like being inducted into a secret society. Woo -woo. That's what marriage is for him. Girl, it's like an induction. Because now you'll know the secrets. You'll know, uh, you know, you'll know who really pulls the strings and what's really what. This man has a very specific way that he gets through life okay he's a charmer for example with this baby mama we saw that he kind of charms his way through okay he charmed his way into his her life and he really charmed his way out and she didn't even notice she has still been sitting back holding on to the idea that they were headed in a direction they were never headed in this man does a lot once he lets you in and makes you a part of his destiny he's really going to hold on to you as his strength Okay, and his, his primary source of passion and power, okay? He's very adamant about that. This between you and him, there may be... Y'all, this, this, this baby mama, she still want to be a part of the equation, okay? She still want to be a part of the equation. And she just... Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles. The place that she wants to be in is the one that he sits you in and he's going to guard you, okay? He's going to be very crafty and, and, and quite manipulative and calculating how he does it. King of Swords energy, he's going to guard the shit out of you. This woman will never even be sure where you fit in with him. Six of Pentacles, okay? 
that other woman, he's going to really, she, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Three of Pentacles. That other woman, this baby mama, she's going to start dealing with extreme stress as he gets into this committed situation with you. Extreme stress, um, the kind, I just keep hearing the word unbuckle, unbuckle, the kind that could really undo someone. He's really played with this woman's mind, y'all. She's not, there's a lot of illusions present. That's why I remember we came out the gate with that seven of cups. He's really created quite an illusion with her that him and her are headed in a direction they are not headed in. We're never headed in, okay? Ten of Swords with the Two of Swords, okay? This man is going to stand for you and Knight of Swords. This man is going to stand for you. And here we are, back to the moon. This man is going to stand for you. This man will fight for you. Cross his heart, hope to die. Take an oath to the death for you. That's also where the secret society energy is coming from. You will be an exalted feminine energy in his life. But also understand you have the ability to kind of see into him and around him spiritually. Okay? You kind of can see into him in a way that he, he you know, is not accustomed to. On the bottom of the deck, spiritual gifts. You kind of can see into him in a way that is unique. Okay? Consider this the love message on this man. Okay? Know that low key, yeah, secrets. Okay? This man has lots of secrets. But if you can accept them and accept the tower energy that's going to come when you step into his life, um, because this man kind of ignites the tower just to bring you in but he's willing to do it this man will go all out to get you in his life baby if that baby mama start clowning he he ready for her ass whatever he got to do it's gonna be his way you the woman that he wants to be in a ten of pentacles with whoever don't like it that's a cycle they gonna get stuck in and i'm telling you that baby mama is gonna be the one that gets stuck in the cycle okay you may have to block her, sis. You may have to block her on social media. That's where a lot of the bullshit is going to come in at. That baby mama. Um, understand that you block her and all that, but she ain't going to be able to do nothing to you because he's not playing those kinds of games. He don't play about you. Okay? So if, the bottom line is, if you know his secrets, look at this, marry me. Y'all can be happy and be together. If you know his secrets and you can accept his secrets, love. If you know his secrets and you can accept those secrets and be cool with those secrets, that's the message, baby. If you can accept that this man got some mess in his background, there's a karmic that looked like she used his ass up and left him for dead. And then he went out here and got involved with some girl that, you know, she was thinking they was finna be one thing that they wasn't never even finna fucking be in the first place. And now she out there mad holding on for dear life, trying to hold that baby to control him. And she not going to be able to control him. And he going to go ahead and take the, take the L, whatever he got to take in order to make you the queen of his life, to take you from that 10 of cups to that 10 of pentacles that he rightfully you rightfully deserve it from him or anyone else, but also he wants you in that space. If you can accept the, 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 if you can accept the circumstances surrounding this union, okay? Justice. This will work out just fine. Death. Six of cups. This will work out just fine. If you can accept what's around it. Things will balance themselves out and everything will transform to a space where he's giving you an offering after offering after offering. Six of Cups, King of Pentacles. He's going to give and give and not stop giving. But no, there is there will be like a, a little bullshit, a little five of swords because old girl, okay, she's going to be trying to act up because she lost. Because that little thing she had wouldn't do it for her. But a marriage is in this for you and him. Four of Wands energy. This man will marry you and he will defend you. Page of Swords, he will defend your name. Um, he's very serious about it. There's a strength card. It's not something that... It's not something that anyone will ever be able to stop him from doing. Is to sit there and be like standing on business when it comes to you. You don't ever have to worry about that. Um, even though... 
Like I say, the drama is, you know, somebody over in the background mad because she didn't get chose. So there is that drama, but girl, he, he ain't finna play them games. Not when it comes to you. Okay, when it comes to you, girl, he gonna he gonna do he gonna do what he's supposed to do, okay? So this is one where you could definitely know this man is not kidding around when it comes to you. If nothing else, um, and if you accept him, girl, this wanna be what it's gonna be, okay? Now I'm just telling you, right, right now, if you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. Please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come on through the video and hit that bell. Yeah. You want to be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? Now, let me tell you, girl. I like cheese. And y'all know I always say feed the tarot reader. Y'all, if y'all want to just send a little cash just for a little cheese, on over to DF Tarot Tea at Cash App or PayPal. Okay, I would be so blessed. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.